Hi everybody, Chris Endress here uh, on the 15th hole at Persimmon and I have uh, reached the green but unfortunately I'm on the very front of the green and the flagstick, the hole location, is all the way in the back. So I've got quite a long putt here. I probably got a good, oh, 70, 80 feet maybe to the hole from here. And uh, unfortunately for shots like this it's really difficult to use your putting stroke. So I'm going to show you another method you can try when you have these really long putts. So. Here's what you're going to do. Basically, you're going to hit a chip shot, but you're going to use your putter. You're on the green, so you don't really want to chip with a 7 iron or something, but you do want to use your chipping technique. So this would be my standard putting technique. I would set up with my feet about shoulder width apart. I would use my left hand low grip that I normally use, and I would make a nice pendulum-like stroke. The problem with that is that it's difficult to get this kind of distance with that kind of a stroke. That's designed for precision, not so much for this kind of distance. So instead, I'm going to get my putter out. I'm going to go to my normal grip, my regular full swing grip. I will shorten the club a little bit. I'm going to set up in more of a chipping setup. And I'm going to just go ahead and feel like I'm going to hit a chip shot with my putter. You can see I'm freeing my lower body up quite a bit here. Uh, I'm not going to be so locked in with my lower body. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Normal grip. Wait just a little bit on my left. I'm going to allow my lower body to be freed up. it a lot easier to get this kind of distance with your putter. So next time you have one of these really long putts, instead of thinking that you're putting it, just go ahead and feel like you're chipping it with your putter, and that'll help you get that distance. Good luck with that. Hopefully it'll help you next time you have a long putt.